Yo, what is good everybody? It's your man Mike P. So last night we buried the hatchet musically pertaining to Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Now obviously there's been some really serious stuff going on during this beef that you never want to see happen, but it looks like it is happening. Obviously when people clash, there's a lot of people arguing online and I think uh, when you're talking about the personalness of this beef, it has gotten a little wild. There's been shootings outside of Drake's house, vandalism at his OVO shop in Toronto, and just a lot of things that you know you don't want to see happen, uh, but unfortunately Unfortunately, they are happening. I don't think we have any more songs left. We have eight songs that we were pretty much blessed with over the course of like a week and a half that we put in a tier list last night on stream with my chat and broke them down as records themselves. Like how good were the records? We didn't do diss track versus diss track. We kind of tried to keep that away from, you know, the chat going at each other's necks. Uh, so we just looked at it at face value. How good were these records? Uh, you know, are you going to play them again? And as you kind of went along, you, you realize that there's a big difference between a S tier disc record and an S tier record. I was surprised actually of where I put some of these in my tier list. I only had two S tiers before we did it. We ended up with, uh, you know, you'll see, you'll see. Please hit a like uh, and subscribe. Become a member if you'd like to support the channel and I will see you uh, at some time. Okay, bye. I want to rank all these tracks. We got to rank all these tracks. This is going to be a less intimidating stream, okay? You guys don't have to kill each other this stream. We're just ranking the quality of the music. I'm trying to keep it PG. Okay, 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 okay. This here is a tier list for the songs, okay? It was a very complete package. It was a great way to to start the beef, but we're not talking about the beef in general. Obviously, the beef has something to do with it, but I think this is a this is a pretty A+ plus song i would imagine uh i think b williams got b man b okay all right so that's how we'll okay so now i know that i have to run this bowl okay um so can we agree it's between a and b um i got it up now we'll wait like 60 seconds let you guys vote and then we will uh we will put it i personally think that is an a track man i think that's pretty hard to put that in a b i don't know how much better you could get and to be honest i think push-ups one of the better songs. listen i think their first go around is is one of the better go arounds I think push-ups and euphoria are like their second best songs when it comes to um, this track, because I'm telling you right now, we're going to get into other songs. We have seven songs left. So think about it. Really think about it, whether it's A or B, because we got to grade a couple other tracks that I don't think are better than than this. Right. I know this voids me out of a possible winner of the Metro Boomin challenge. But did you hear that everyone has a new nickname for him? Do I say it or do you? Damn it, what is wrong with the internet? The internet, you guys, you always win. You always find a way to win. Um, and I completely agree. We got 61% or uh, A tier track. And I agree. I cannot imagine putting B because then I'd have to ask you what could be A other than like, uh, you know, other tracks that I think. And, you know, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Now, this one, I'm not I'm not too sure about it, but I, I actually, I, I kind of fuck with it. I would probably say I ran this song back maybe three or four times. And then, you know, after the whole controversy with the Tupac shit, I just kind of never really went back to it. And obviously the dust is kind of settling. And this is like the first time we could even really see like the rubble and see who's under it and, and see what's, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the true time where we're like, all right, what's left? <laughs> like what's left of the wreckage? Like now that there's not songs being dropped over our head while we're trying to have opinions on the beef, like we got a little clear out moment. So maybe Taylor made is better or worse. Like we'll figure out. Uh, so let's play uh, Drake. Taylor made freestyle. Ooh. Also, Pac is my favorite rapper and like really my favorite artist. I didn't take this as disrespect. I took it as as creative and and honestly, there's people way more legit than me, even from the West Coast, that kind of said it was it was it was okay. I remember Snoop Dogg didn't have too harsh of an opinion on it. And if you're gonna AI Tupac, you better be on fucking beat. And then it's like you know it's crazy. Like I think Drake is such a great artist and he's such a great rapper. But man, like Drake in person like drake aiing tupac really put a light on fucking pox delivery bro that's that's one thing that really takes away if there's anything that i don't like about using the tupac ai i'm a fucking white boy from the east coast suburbs i really can't take this personal the one thing that i take away from it is pac is such a better rapper <laughs> like like he his delivery oh my god compared to what like you know what i'm saying because this is a drake delivery compared to a pac delivery you know what i'm saying i would say this song and him on instagram saying use me as the they have nothing to drop button two biggest mistakes he ever made
All right, let's let's cut let's cut right to it. I, I think with all things said, this is a D tier track, and and if it was an F tier track, and if we did have an F, I would I would put it as an F. I, I think there's only two options, C and D. We'll we will uh we'll we'll still run the we'll still run a poll. All right, now I could start. Now I could jump on another poll. Well, well, there's a couple reasons why I give it a D. One of the main reasons is he can't even publish the track. And we could stop the poll now. It's it's 77% for the D. 77% of you want D. We're going to put Taylor Made last place. Uh, do we call it last place? I guess, right? Last place, we'll call it. That That's it. But we got uh, Euphoria with Kendrick Lamar. The first response. <laughs> So happy to hear that finally. Euphoria. Oh no, I might. Oh no. Shoo! Shoo! Yeah, I'm out the way. Yeah, I'm low. Okay, yeah, the island right here is remote. Okay, I ain't thinking about no reaper. Nigga, I'm reaping what I sow. Okay, got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house. Like I'm Joe. Okay, hell cat down. Like with a poke. I just want to say right now, I know we're not talking about, like, I know we're not judging this right now, but, uh, if anybody was on the fence about this first round, bro. Shoot. <laughs> oh, no. I Shoot. forgot how good Euphoria is. Shoot. Dude, I literally, Shoot. this last week, I forgot how good. <laughs> there are rappers, let's, let's say rappers, there are rappers that sound like they're rapping on a beat. And then there are rappers that sound that they like they are sewn into the beat. Kendrick Lamar and and I've said this a million times and people don't agree. Don't, people don't believe me. I am such a bigger fan. Of, I've I've been a bigger fan of Drake than Kendrick for so long. One thing that I have not realized is how sewn in he sounds like the verse came with the beat. But that fucking huh? Do you understand how? Do you understand how? Oh my! See success. I tweeted out that this was close this first round. Push-ups and euphoria is not even fucking close. This is like the first time I'm listening to these songs with the smoke fucking cleared out. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I can't stress broken record. I said I'm going to be a broken record about this. This is like the first time in a, it like since the smoke has settled where I'm really listening, bro. Oh my God, euphoria. Am I battling ghosts or AI? Nigga feeling like Joe Hill Austin. Funny he was in a film called AI. And my sixth sense telling me to off him. I'm a I'm going to talk about this line one more time because this line still pisses me off. And I argue tooth and nail with hundreds of people. And if any of you want to fucking go back and forth with me, you could lose this argument too. Okay. This is my last time talking about it. Kendrick Lamar made a mistake with that bar. And I'm going to break it down one more time. And the only reason I got the best way of breaking it down is because I know how bars are written. The setup. Am I battling ghosts or AI? Got me feeling like Joel Hale Alstein. Funny, he was in a film called AI and my sixth sense telling me to off him. The bar should have been... Am I battling ghosts or AI? Got me feeling like hell Joel Oz mean. Funny, he was in a film called AI. He, 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 whoever Kendrick said before that bar, that guy is in the film called AI. He meant to say hell Joel Oz mean. He said uh, Joel Hell all steam. That is not a human. That is not a reference to the preacher. It doesn't matter. The setup was, am I battling a ghost or an AI? Haley Joel Osman battled ghosts in Sixth Sense, and he was artificial intelligence, uh, inte intelligence in AI. Got me feeling like Haley Joel Osman. This is a basic setup punch. You have two references to start and you end with two references to the first. His first two references is Six Sense and AI. His punchline is Six Sense and AI. I don't care what anyone says. I am slightly autistic, Charlie, probably, but guess what? 
I'm right and autistic. So right back at you. Got quite a debate to have because I saw somebody in the chat. I forgot. I, I, I forgot the name of the person in the chat, but they said, this is why I wanted pushups on B. Okay. Because now if euphoria is a tier for you, then you are putting it on the same levels as pushups. Are we moving pushups or are we keeping pushups at, if we're, if, 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 if listen, my, my, th this isn't just my poll. This isn't just my poll, bro. I am only moving pushups. If you think that euphoria is a tier, if euphoria is a tier, then it has to move. We've been getting bombed on by both Kendrick and Drake. Like Kendrick and Drake think they're just going at each other. They are going at us. We've been getting bombed by song after song after song. This is really like the first day that I've sat back and really appreciated this. Like really appreciated this. I personally think this is S tier. Pushup stays in A. In a. I think pushups is an incredible song. We could close that poll we could close that poll no point in even letting it run it's at 91 percent uh for push-ups being uh for for euphoria being s tier and yeah dude i mean i mean second time around holy shit man what an incredible song um and talk about a statement right i mean this was the song this was the song where uh d nice thank you for the sub this was the song where it was like okay you asked for this kendrick now it's on you right you know, you asked for this uh, 11 years ago in the control verse. You asked for it on like that. Uh, Drake's hitting you with the first shot. Push-ups, absolutely incredible shot. Body shot. Maybe made Kendrick take a standing eight count. You know, maybe he didn't knock him out, but maybe he had to take a knee. Maybe Kendrick had to take a knee for a second. It's clear that Kendrick was ready for this, despite, you know, what, what Drake was trying to do. I have euphoria as S tier, man. Holy moly. Drake goes back to back for the back to back and uh, Kendrick decides, you know what? Fuck it. If you're going to do this, uh, I could play this game as well. So uh, if we're going chronologically, then what is next is 616 in LA, which yo, I'm going to say right now, man, this, this, this song flew so under the radar for me that I don't even remember what it sounds like. You're playing nerdy with Zach Bia and Twitter bots, but your reality can't hide behind Wi-Fi. All right, all right. Oh, stop, 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 stop. One point, one point. He rhymed Twitter bots with Wi Fi. One point, one point. Ref, take one point off, one point off. Twitter, he rhymed Twitter bots, Wi Fi. Twitter bots, Wi Fi. All right, fight. Uh, Mike, why, what would I do? Inst uh, what would I rhyme with Twitter bots? Probably like bigger socks or something. Twitter bots, uh, liver shots, uh, bigger box, litter box, um, killer ops, uh, filler twats, um, killer ox, um, something. Not a uh, Wi Fi. Hey, Kendrick, what were you sleep? Were you sleep writing? What the hell was that, Kendrick? Uh, 616 in LA, very vibey song. Flexing of the pen. I love the way, um, you know, he's kind of just flashy with with how he raps and the internal rhyming, man, at, 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 at parts, which is such a hard thing to do. One thing I've, I've realized through this beef and, and getting so many different versions of Kendrick, I think that's another thing for a lot of people that maybe weren't a fan of him before, like I was not, not saying I wasn't a fan of him, but not listening to him, um, as much as I apparently should be his internal rhyming, dude, like his, his internal rhyming is so good. The track is really fire. The, the angle of like talking to God before kind of going to war and, and like the warnings again, obviously outside of the diss, you know, he didn't really diss Drake that much. But once again, we're not really judging the diss as much as we're judging the track of the song. I don't know if this is a tier, man. I think this might be B, bro. You And out of respect, because I don't think Kendrick was really trying to do much with this. I think this was just kind of like a flex. You know what I mean? Just kind of showing off the talents. This is either B or A. I don't know, bro. Push-ups? Push-ups as a track is, is really fucking good, dude. Push-ups as a track is really good. I understand you, you wanted to 
keep Kendrick's ratings high. I'm going to go B. I guess this is where whoever was in my chat talking about we should have did like an A plus or an A minus and a B plus and a B minus. You know, we'll probably do that for other things and other topics, but I kind of missed the boat on that one. All right, so we're going to go. Uh, it looks like this is an A. This is an A, um, but I'm going to go a low A. I don't think this is better than than pushups. I'm not going to say that 16, 616 in LA is better than pushups. So we're going to put pushups in front of uh, 616 in LA. We got Euphoria at S tier. I mean, ah, dude, Euphoria at S tier, pushups at A, uh, 616, a little behind pushups. I thought pushups was just a little too good as a track. And we got Taylor made in last place. Now here's where it gets dicey. And I think I'm going to agree with whoever said that I definitely should have made a A plus and an A minus, but we will put like the A's in front of each other from best to worst. And the S's will try to do that as well, because now we got some crazy shit coming our way. It's clearly because of the boy. <laughs> the honorable thing is only big D in this video proof. Two oh no oh god here's where the fucking drama starts here's where it starts to get a little spicy man zayna thank you for the sub this is where it starts to get a little spicy do i just say the first thing that's been popping into my head this whole time while listening to i do i do i say it s tier dis b list track we're not ranking them as what were the best disses. We're just stripping them away as records. How good are the records? And I think this is a perfect example of, of, of it not being confusing. I think that's an S tier diss record. We, we need to do this, right? Look at what is S tier. We have euphoria. Okay. We have euphoria. When did, and, and this is how I judge battles. This is how I judge battles. Right. And, and maybe you could apply this to your formula, right? When did euphoria get hot? How many seconds? 12, 25, 38 minute five. I think Euphoria was S tier from basically start to finish. Drake on Family Matters shows you himself when it gets to a S tier record. I think throughout the entire song, it's an S tier diss, but from a record standpoint, like how good the record is, I, I think Drake kind of shows how much better the very last part is compared to all the other parts. So if it's an S tier song, you would have to agree that from beginning to end, it's S tier. Low A, we're going, are we going last? Middle A, let's go middle A. Let's go, let's appease everybody because because push-ups and family matters we could talk about forever. I just think push-ups from, from start to finish is a stronger record. Meet the Grahamas, I put. All right, here we go. Meet the Grams. You lied about your surgery. Ooh. You lied about your accent and your past tense. All is perjury. You lied about your ghost riders. You lied about your crew members. They all pussy. You lied on them. I know they all got you in them. You lied about your son. You lied about your daughter, huh? You lied about them. Oh, what a conversation we're about to have. We're thinking S tier. You guys are thinking S tier next to Euphoria. Is Meet the Grams close to Euphoria? Ah. Oh. Euphoria, oh, dude, Euphoria set the bar so high for S tiers, man. From a record standpoint, I feel like there's so many parts of Meet the Grams that are S tier disses, S tier digs, but I don't know if it's a S tier record. Are we, are we voting S A B? Are we doing S A B? I don't even know, man. As a record. Oh, I don't even know. I'm going, oh, or if we're going high A, I don't know. I think I'm disrespecting going to B. I think I'm disrespecting going to B. I'm going A. I'm, st I'm staying A. I'm staying middle A, man. Middle A. S tier, 45% S tier, 35% A tier. Black Mac, thank you, the five. This is an S tier. The feel of this record is like you're actually being trapped in the room with the boogeyman and he's walking you down. Yes, Black, there are so many different elements to this track that make it a that make it a great track. Um, I I think I was kind of wild in trying to call it a B, a B. I'm going, I'm going super strong A because I just think Euphoria dude set such a crazy bar, man. Euphoria set such a crazy high bar. I just don't know, man. From a diss record to just how masterful every piece of that is. 
like I said, with, uh, with, with family matters, I'll say the same thing with meet the grams. What keeps family matters from being an S tier is that there are clear cut times in the record where it's an S tier record. And there are clear cut times where it is a S tier diss. I'm going to go high a, but the people have spoken. Yeah. The people have spoken. The people have spoken and we have our second S tier track, um, of, of this entire, uh, joint. And that is going to be meet the grams. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if we're, I don't know if this is kind of conveying how this beef went, but we have, uh, we have a, uh, we have two S tier tracks and we have one artist in the S tiers. We did the same thing with a uh, Euphoria versus Meet the Grams. Is Euphoria still ahead of Meet the Grams? Does Meet the Grams take the lead? I think Euphoria, six tracks down, I think Euphoria is the best song. Right now, we are uh, six tracks in. I have Euphoria beating all. I have Euphoria. Uh, we have we, we have Euphoria and Meet the Grams S tier. We have Push Ups, Family Matters, and 616 in LA as A tier. We have, uh, we have Poor Taylor Made. <laughs> We have poor, poor Taylor made at a, at D tier, F tier, whatever you want to call it. Let's get into these last, uh, these last two tracks right here. And, uh, let's start with the second to last. And that is not like us. I am really interested as to where you guys are putting this because, uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know, dude, this, this is my shit. The must we outside. Hey. Trains bear with me for a second. Let me put y'all on game. The settlers was using town folk to make them richer. Fast forward 2020. Oh my lord. I mean, dude, as a bop, if you want to talk about like the pockets that he hits during that, the West Coast lineage that's like embedded in, in the beat and, and the, the rhyme patterns and the way that he flows on the track. If you want to talk about it being an anthem for the West Coast, if you want to talk about it being a, a great diss that's that that goes crazy and gets serious and 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 jokey and and this and that, and and it's something that you could yell in the club. It's got every Everything. It's got the bars. It's got the pattern. It's got the bop. It's got the slogan. It's got everything. I, I would be pressed to think that this is anything under S tier. And uh, this is giving Euphoria a run for its money, to be honest. So let's get to the bottom of this right now. I'm only putting up two answers. If you have this as a B tier track, I want you to swallow a desert. I'm just kidding. All right, S A poll has started. What? Man, that's a fucking bop, brother. Holy shit, 98%. 98% to 2. Yeah, I mean, guys, this 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 track, this track, if you want to if if this was just about ranking diss tracks, then you're putting this as S tier. Clowns on them, jokes on them, is dead serious, out raps, flexes the pen, flexes the the rhyming. Uh, put, drops a slogan on his head. Max Gene, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you. That is a S tier record if I have ever seen one. The S tiers belong to Kendrick Lamar. The A tiers uh, belong to Drake. And the only track that is considered A tier as a record is uh, 616 in LA from Kendrick. We have Taylor Made, Dead Last Place. That is a S tier track if I've ever heard one. My Lord, uh, he did everything on that track. Here we go. The last track, last song to judge. Uh, guys, you know, I want you guys to be unbiased here. I want to see your unbiased ears. You know, we're going to, we're going to rank this. I don't know where you guys want to put this track, but we'll listen to it first so we could get to the bottom of it. Last track of the eight part series that we have been so blessed to be a part of. That is a uh, heart part six by Drake. My internet keeps going out. Like my, my, my internet on my TV goes out. My internet on my phone goes out. It keeps, it keeps, uh, it keeps fucking, it keeps, it keeps fucking up. I, I'm a, I, I just cut the stream back on to, to tell you guys peace out. Appreciate y'all. Um, listen, I, I if we're going to do this, if we're going to do this, um, you know, this is, this is D tier, this is D tier. It's, it's not a good track. It's not a good diss track. Just overall, it's just not a, a good track at all hard part six so to wrap it up we have euphoria meet the grams and not like us being the only s tier tracks we have push-ups family matters and 616 in la is the only a tier tracks we have no b tier no c tier and the owner of the uh d f 
whatever tier you want to call it is Drake with Taylor made and the heart part six. Appreciate you guys um, joining the stream. And then I appreciate you joining the stream again. And then I appreciate you joining the stream again. I will see you guys most likely tomorrow. If not, um, we got some uploads coming tomorrow as well for you guys to pee, uh, check out and vibe to other than that. Uh, I'm your man, Mike P and uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.